I'm gonna show you how to zoom in and out your videos with Caden Live. So I'm in the editor now and I have the video added to video track. I'm gonna play this video and see how it looks with no effects. Okay, this is the original video with no zoom effects. And the first thing we have to do is go here to the effects and find an effect called transform. Take this effect, drag and drop this to the video. And in here you can see settings for the transform effect. And if you take this playhead and move it to the right, the first keyframe that you need to define is the point in time at which you want to start zooming in in your video. So let's say I want to start zooming in very early in this video. So I'm going to add keyframe here. And then the next thing you have to do is define the keyframe um, or basically the point in time where you wish to be zoomed in uh, to your video. So let's say around three seconds of this video, I want to be zoomed in um, to my target, in this case, the boat. So I need to add another keyframe here and now you need to adjust the zoom settings. So if you click here on the size and drag your mouse to the right or to the left, you should see that you're actually able to zoom in now. So let's zoom into the boat and you also have to adjust X and Y axis as well. So just adjust those axes to make sure that um, the target uh, at which you're zooming in is actually sitting right in the middle of the screen. So I want to be zooming in right into this boat like this. So now I start zooming in from this keyframe and at this point in time I will be zoomed in to this level. And if you actually wanted to adjust the time, you could take this keyframe and just move it like this. So now I will be zooming in from this point in time to this point in time and it's going to be a very quick zoom in. So I'll move it back to around three seconds. Okay. And then the next thing you have to do is um, if you wish to zoom back out, um, you have to add another keyframe. And to do that, you want to click on this very keyframe that you have here um, on this timeline, then move the playhead to the point in time where you wish to be zoomed back out to the original look. So let's say around five seconds here and then click on this button, duplicate selected keyframe. So what it does is actually duplicating this very first keyframe. So what's going to happen now is as we play the video, you will see the video zooming in to this point and from this point onwards is going to be zooming back out to the original look. Okay, so now we're zooming in and here we're zooming back out. Okay, and the last advice I will give you is if you click on these uh, keyframes, I would suggest to change it from linear to smooth so that your uh, zoom in and zoom out effect is going to look a little smoother uh, when, you, when you choose smooth. Okay, and and that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if this was useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe.